take a shovel, it can be four inches, six inches, eight inches, and get what we call a shovel slice. And an accurate sample, you start by digging a hole very carefully, have a flat side on the hole so that you can get a nice flat sample, and then sample about an inch depth, meaning an inch thick. Once you get the sample out on your shovel, break away soil until you have a rectangle. What this does is give you the same amount of soil from the bottom of the hole and the top of the hole so that you get a more accurate reading because sometimes there's a gradation and there are more nutrients at the top or in the bottom. And then find a container or a bucket. And you put it in that container in a bucket and then in a plot this size, I would do that about 10 times. When I have my 10 subsamples, I'm going to just take that same shovel, kind of break it up a little bit and then stir it and then let's pretend like I have my 10 samples in here. Then you just need about, again, one shovel full as your final sample to send into the lab. You can send in a fresh sample, but it's probably a little bit better to let it air dry before you send it in. To do that, you take your subsample, this one cup of soil that you've taken out of your 10 subsamples, put it out on a newspaper for about two days, and then take that to your county office and have them send it in. You can put the sample in a plastic bag or a paper sack. Your county office may also have containers and you can ask K-State to run uh, pH, phosphorus, potassium, nitrogen, and organic matter. And each of those will tell you a different but very important thing about your soil. For more information, visit your local extension office or visit our website.